Hello, everyone. Welcome Hello. to Better Connecticut. How many people do you have following you on Instagram? Um, 6,000, I think. That's a pretty good amount. I don't know how. I, I think mean, I have like 10. So, but earlier this week on our Facebook page, we told you about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new Instagram account, and um, it set a new Guinness World Record. Well, who? Uh, of course it is. They're the most famous couple gonna in follow, the world. Who's not, I'm, I'm going to even follow them. I don't know how to follow anybody, but I'm going to try and do my best to follow the princess. They, what did they, they, they get? In less than six hours, Kara? They, in in uh, they five hours and 45 million. minutes, they got a million, a million followers. In less than six hours. Five hours and 45 minutes, they got a million followers. And now it's now like it's, at almost three you know, and a half million. Yeah, so. whatever. So it's just going to keep growing. Of course I'm going to follow the prince of the princess. I want to know what they're up to. I'm guessing their pictures are going to be good. Right? <laughs> they're probably going to be all, what do you think, they're going to be approved? Do you think she's taking a selfie of herself and putting it on the No, Instagram? no, no. It, that was part of the rules when she became a duchess. Mm -hmm. Selfies are not allowed. That's part oh. of the royal protocol. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Pantyhose, no selfies. There's, there's some rules. There's some rules. Yeah. Some rules to oh, follow. Yeah. Britney Spears. I has, know. I feel bad. She's been, you know, doing pretty well uh, the last couple of years. It has seemed, but uh, and not to say she's not. She says she's being proactive for some me time, but she's checking herself into a wellness facility. Yeah. This is what she posted: "Fall in love with taking care of yourself, mind, body, spirit." She had a rough time with her dad recently. Yeah, her kids are with Kevin Federline, obviously, and she is checking in. She said that she's going to be there for, you know, like a couple of weeks, if not a little bit longer. So it was really emotional. When her dad had his colon erupted, and That's so I terrible. guess she was taking care of him. And you know, I mean, that can be tough on anyone. And maybe she's just wanting to make sure she doesn't fall back into. What do you think about this jail time for the Varsity Blues players? Hmm. <laughs> That's what you're calling them, the Varsity Blues That's players. what it's called, yeah. I call them the players in the Varsity Blues uh, scandal. Uh, uh, Operation Varsity Blues. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm there. I'm like, <laughs> listen, Come on, Lori, stick with me. Uh, Lori Loughlin <laughs> and Felicity Huffman, all of them, uh, along with uh, Lori Loughlin's husband, all these celebrities were in court yesterday. Now, the question is, what will they plead? Yeah. The prosecutors are saying they're not going to accept any plea deal. Any plea deal. Unless. It Less includes prison time. Prison time. So they're going to, they, he wants them really, we are really making an example. Apparently, this is going to be the new Hallmark movie, Varsity Blues, starring Lori McLaughlin and Felicity Huffman. Now, where are the husbands in all of this, Kara? Well, I, her husband, Lori Loughlin's husband, the, the designer, Massimo, he was. Oh, he was in that video. He was there. Okay. Uh, I don't know about Felicity Huffman. Apparently, there's some report that maybe he could have been involved, but there wasn't as much evidence, so he's not charged the way that she is. All right. Well, did you happen to catch The Bold and the Beautiful today? The show has a new cast member, Denise Richards. Yes, a.k.a. Charlie she Sheen. There she is. There she is. She's the newest cast member on The Bold and the Beautiful, playing Flo's mom, Shauna Fulton, a woman from Las Vegas, Carol, with a wild past, who comes to Los Angeles to check on her daughter. Oh, look at her. Yeah, she kind of looks like her hair is a little bit like Brooks. <laughs> anyway. <yeah. laughs> and that's where the similarity ends. Uh, but that's and, okay. But she has something to say about it. I've never done a daytime soap opera before. I'm learning you don't really know what's going to happen in the future. We get a script and we're like, oh, that's what I'm doing and <laughs> that's who I'm talking to. So I don't know. They haven't told me. She looks like a soap opera star, doesn't she? Yeah, I think she does. she's been on most plays. Star. She's been around. So, um, anyway, that, now you have a new cast member. You just, if you were watching a little while ago, you got to see her. The Bold and the Beautiful, starring Kara Sunland. Oh, I did have that moment where I got to have my extra I know. role. Do your, there? do your best head turn. Mm. There we go. That's it. <laughs> they That's sent me a little it. check. I think it was like two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, two dollars better than the kick in the I head. I had to eat the muffin with Jack Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the final season of Game of Thrones debuts for everyone to watch on TV in about 10 days. Do you but last, watch this? Do you watch this? I don't, and I feel I, like I it's, two point, it's too hard to go back now. because seasons. We're, we're gone. We're, but anyway, a lot, lot of people do, of course, and uh, you can't help but know who it is because it's such a famous show. Last night, all the stars of the HBO hit were in New York City for a big special premiere there. Look at this. So all of them on the red carpet. You've got uh, all of the stars there out for the Game of Thrones. They actually hid six iron ingots throughout the world, uh, HBO did, in uh, honor of this. Oh. And people had to find them. And one of the ingots, one of the uh, replicas, was found in Queens, New York. This is the truth. I'm well, is that the inket, what we just saw? I don't What's know. An uh, well, like uh, it's a throne, like the replicas of the uh, throne or something like that. It was made of iron, and they hid six of them throughout the world. Okay. And one of them was found in Queens, New York. All right, well, listen. All, all the publicity. Sophie Turner, something to say about it. All right, listen. Uh, it feels 
bittersweet. It, it's very exciting uh, because it's, you know, so a whole new chapter of our lives we're embarking on, but it's also, it's really sad because this other chapter is closing and, and we won't be able to play these amazing characters anymore or be in scenes with each other as those characters. And so it, it's, it's a mixture of both. I just always wonder if actresses freak out when a series ends and they got to start finding another work. I'm sure that all they'll the all pressure. do quite well. But the show, how it's going to end is still a mystery. What we do know is the final season is only six episodes long and the final episode airs on May 19th. And she's marrying Joe Jonas. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So she's got other things. She's got wedding planning to worry about. And if you're marrying Joe Jonas, I think you're pretty. You're going to be doing okay. She might want to do something for no, herself. No, he might be doing okay with her. Exactly. Who knows? Exactly. There you go. All right. The high school mm. prom for most of us, we think of it as a rite of passage. Yep. So what if you're told you have to be on a wait list and you might not be able to go? Get on the list. What? That's, that's what I tell you to do. No, it's happening in Florida. Shouldn't every student be allowed to go to their prom? Well, it depends. If the venue only holds 500, well, you are late to the... who booked the venue that doesn't fit enough kids? Listen, if you're late to the game, it's the, it's the, uh, the sleepy giant gets the worm, or whatever that saying is. <laughs> the early, the early bird. bird gets the worm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of Sleepy Giant State Park, no, but, but some, I am. I don't know either. But some people, you know, they buy the dress, they they do all those things. That's a good and place for a prom, absolutely right, Sleepy Giant State Park, with all the beautiful picturesque. I'm sure you could fit there. a lot of people, they're not going to have no, a... I told you, I had a problem with my prom, because we booked it in a venue where the driving age was 18, but in my county, the driving age was 16. So everybody had to drive over the border, and it was illegal for us to go over the border after 9 p.m. That's so like it was crazy a big that rigmarole. you have... And I was like, did we do that? I was one of the class offices. We booked the venue because we got a good price. So get on the list. That's what I tell Didn't you. Didn't you do your research? We did do our research after the fact. All right. All right. So imagine you're driving along the highway and all of a sudden you get to see this. What is it? Oh, my God. It's goats. They're supposed to be goats. Look at them. Look oh, there at they all, are. Look at all these goats. It's hard to goats. see in the nighttime. Okay. These are night goats. Oh. Do they scream like our goats? Exactly. This is in California. No wonder why they have so much traffic congestion in, in California. They've got goats roaming around on the highway. They escaped from a nearby pasture. Clearly, they wanted to all go together. Absolutely. <laughs> Good for them. Run. And then there was a pig on the loose in Massachusetts. This little <laughs> piggy, we're going to get there in just a second. Hang on there. But this little piggy had to be lured back to its pen with sandwich buns. He's not so little. They tried to pull the pork the right way. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. I'll be all here right. all week. Enjoy your salads. Uh, a woman in England um, has created quite the birdhouse, and she's having a little fun with it. The birdhouse looks like a living room, and there's a camera to see, you know, this is what happens when the birds go in there. Could you imagine how small those little tiny books are? There's it's like a dollhouse. There's even a little cat on the mantle. It's like a little dollhouse. And this is a, the snack bar. This oh, is no, the no, snack no, bar no, right here. Right here. Yeah. So they come to the snack bar, a little <laughs> microwave there. They get to heat up their food, and then they walk away, and then they, they fly away with some food. I think that woman's got way too much time on her hands, but what do I, I know? I mean... <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying. She, she must be retired, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. 